of the examples in this section are available in all versions of PowerShape except base PowerShape. So they're available in Delcam Designer, PowerShape Pro and CopyCAD Pro, but not base PowerShape. So the first new feature I'll show you is uh, the fact that we can now do a triangle triangle limit operation. So this model here is uh, lots of separate triangle models and if I just draw this model on its own you can see we have this split surface. So let's suppose that we want to create a mould of this by limiting our teeth to our split surface. Okay, So select one of the teeth, come to the general edits toolbar and perform a limiting operation. Select our split surface and PowerShape performs the limit operation for us. We can use next solution and if I draw the split surface on its own you can see we've limited one set of triangles to the other. Okay so uh, limit operation new to PowerShape 2011. So I'll turn off level 1 and turn on level 2 where I'll show you the next new feature which is Z compensation to cure a rapid prototyping problem called overcure. So if we look at this image here, the image is split into two sections. So if we look at the, the bottom black and grey section, so if you imagine the black line represents the, the bed or the table of the RP machine, and imagine the grey lines represent the layers built up by the RP process. So this bottom section is the required shape if we look at the top section, generally this is actually what is achieved when making this type of shape. Now if I zoom in here, you can see this represents the laser itself. Now when the laser is making this area with no material underneath it, we get these additional blobs of shape which are added on unnecessarily, unrequired shapes. And um, this is called overcure. Okay, So the laser can't help but, unfortunately, and curing some of the material in this free space when making shapes of this nature. Okay, so let me just come into a isometric view and show you this ring here. So potentially, if this ring is built from the bottom up, there are potentially quite a few areas where we will encounter this overcure problem. However, we have a new tool on the mesh edit toolbar which allows us to compensate in the Z direction for um, overcure in the model. Okay, so when we raise the form, we can enter the amount of overcure, the, the maximum overcure that we wish to adjust the model for. So if I say 0 0.05, and if I then hit the apply button, what PowerShape is doing now is it's analyzing the model for us and it's showing us where the maximum overcure errors will occur. Okay, so for instance here, anything which is red is uh, is the maximum error, fading away to blue where no compensation is needed. So anything which is red has to be compensated for to combat overcure. If I say OK, the model is then compensated for in Z. If I just zoom in on this area, if I undo and redo, you'll see that we've compensated these bottom edges Okay, in Z only to help combat the overcure problem. Next example on level 3, I've got again some triangle data. Let's draw the triangles to show you. And I'll select the, the block of triangles. And this new feature is to do with curve creation. So on the curve creation menu, we have um, three tools on this flyout which are all specific to triangles. So the first option allows us to create a sketched curve which is snapped onto the triangle model with intolerance. The options I'll show you here are the second and third option. So the second option allows us to create curves from the mesh discontinuities. Okay, we can enter the minimum angle. If I leave that as default, you can see we've created a set of curves where we have discontinuities um, greater than 20 degrees on our model. OK, reselect the triangle model and again curve menu, open up the flyout and the third option on this flyout is 
to allow us to create curves from the boundaries of the mesh, so the outside open edges of the mesh. Okay, so again, activate the option, and you can see there we get the curve created on the outer boundary of our triangle shape, like so. Okay, so moving on to the uh, next example, let me just select all the curves and put them on the correct level, and then I'm going to turn on level 4, where I've got a different mesh, like so. And again, we're going to limit the mesh, but I have a new tool to help me do this. So I'm going to come to the, uh, the Edit Limit Selection toolbar. Now this toolbar has been changed. A lot of the buttons have actually been added to this uh, flyout here. So all of the buttons on this flyout were existing options um, that have been collected together underneath the flyout. And the reason we've made this form s smaller is because we have this new dynamic cutter mode um, tool which we can use now on this toolbar. So I've just entered dynamic cutter mode and what I can do now is just start to um, click points, select the triangle data, click points and the object here is to make a closed polygon region. When the polygon region is closed we perform the limit operation on the triangle data Okay, and triangles inside the polygon are removed. Now we can use the next solution, so if you did want to keep what was inside, we can toggle between uh, the two data sets using the next solution option. Okay, now the data I've just limited there is triangle data. If I also turn on level 5 where I have some surface data, you'll see that this option can also be used uh, with surface data and solid data as well. So if I just repeat that operation with surfaces, so select the surfaces to be edited, drop into dynamic cutter mode, start to sketch the polygon. So here I'm going to make uh, the, the shape of the split surface using this new tool. Okay, so again the object is to create a closed polygon region like so and again use the next solution to toggle between the possibilities okay so a new toolbar a new tool on the edit limit form 